The final project in my AP Spanish Literature class is to create a video representation of a significant Spanish literary work, and my project, still in progress, is a stop-motion representation of Don Quixote, specifically the scene where he attacks the windmills. Don Quixote is the story of an eccentric man of the Hidalgo class, Alonso Quijano, who resides in La Mancha, a region of Spain. He spends most of his time reading adventure stories, caballerias, and the story kicks off with his delusion that he's in fact one of the errant knights with which he is obsessed. He goes out into La Mancha with the goal of enacting justice and righting wrongs, and needless to say, a general ruckus soon ensues. For me, the appeal of Don Quixote is twofold. On the one hand, my own fascination with knight-errant stories, a genre which it parodies, made an obvious choice. And on the other, the humor of the work is inherently suited for stop-motion animation. But where would Don Quixote be without his faithful and valiant steed, Rocinante? And what better way to celebrate one of my favorite stories than by trying something new? The first step of building Rocinante was the design. Using pictures from Google Images, I designed the basic armature of the horse and decided which elements I would need to make him. I decided on styrofoam and wire for the joints, with clay forming the fur and mane. Once I had the necessary materials, I set about constructing the skeleton for my blueprints, adapting the design wherever necessary. The next step was to apply a general layer of clay to act as skin before applying additional clay to represent basic muscle groups, bone structures, mane, and tail hair. Finally, I went in with a pencil and other sculpting tools to smooth out the layers and apply basic details. This was my first sculpting attempt, and first homemade armature, and I'm happy with how it turned out. It isn't superbly detailed by any means, but it will serve its purpose and I hope get the message across. With Rocinante at his side, Don Quixote can ride confidently into any battle, whether against giants, windmills, or even the Knight of the White Moon, and his victory, in his eyes at least, and probably Sancho's, will be ensured.